Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the iFlip Customer Spotlight Program. My name is Aaron Yoon. I am the product manager here at iFlip, and my guests today are Terry and John Jones. They've been longtime users of the software almost since the very beginning of iFlip's inception. And today we're going to explore their journey investing with iFlip. Terry, John, welcome. Uh, hi. Hi. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so I guess the first thing that I'm curious about here is how did you get introduced to iFlip and what were you doing in, in regards to stock investing before uh, you, you were introduced to iFlip? I actually met uh, Randy in, at a wealth building conference in uh, Lake Tahoe. And I believe that was early 2015. Um, I previously had um, an outside broker that managed um, our portfolios. And so I listened to Randy's presentation. That was like pretty awesome. Actually, when he presented it, I was not familiar with anything that it was so very new. I was, I was not familiar with any of it at all. Um, and that's why I came home, talked to John about it. And then we became much more interested because John actually had a lot of experience uh, and thoughts about the AI process. So that's when we contacted Randy again. So John, what got you interested in the, uh, the AI investing aspect of things? Uh, I like the idea of, <clears throat> we know that hedge funds and people that manage money, algorithms boost um, in, in, in trading and having that advantage of playing on the same field was very, that's something that made it very interesting. Uh, it also was the thought process behind uh, losing less when the market, you know, does something that we don't want it to do. Uh, but it, the idea of losing less, getting out, not participating, that is something that I, that I found very interesting in the beginning as we're growing in this techno technological age. But mainly money has always been in you know, usually your work portfolio, your 401k, your uh, Roth IRA or something like that, something that you can't touch, you can't manage, you know, and that is a traditional way that most people save for their future. My previous experience is that mostly I just got a statement every month in the mail and that's what was, what I was doing and, and how it was working. And that's just, that's how I, I guess, traded at that time. Up until you know, several years ago, that's all you really knew. There, there wasn't very much out there for the uh, individual investor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit out for the traders, the hardcore traders, but there wasn't much for the individual investors. And it was nice to see something that actually kind of leveled the play, playing field, or at least had the possibility of. When you got started with iFlip, what was your first impression? What was your initial experience? How was it similar or different than what you were experiencing before the traditional route? If you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. If I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I believe it was February of 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Now, don't get, don't, don't get mad if that's not the right time. <laughs> but uh, we had a, a really quick dip in the marketplace. Uh, we had our money in the iFlip software, uh, and just a, it was on a Monday. I do, or, yeah, I believe it was on you know, Monday or Friday. I can't remember. It's quite a few years ago. Uh, but anyways, like likewise, uh, our money was actually out in a considerable amount. We're talking 60-70% of our portfolio was not trading. We actually called Randy and said, hey, why aren't we in the stock market? Everything's doing really good. Mm -hmm. Well, come to find out, you wake up in the morning and we had a nice, uh, had, well, the market halted quite a few times. And uh, you kind of wipe the sweat off your brow and go, wow, it actually worked. You know, so that's, uh, that was the first time that it actually like made a noticeable difference. Mm -hmm. Uh, felt a little bit of security, a little bit of protection, because I questioned, my wife Terry questioned, why was our money out? Why weren't we participating? 
And the next thing you know, there was, there was a, a short correction, but there was a correction. And it was nice to see that we didn't follow the market and watch it, you know, just go down with, <laughs> with the rest of the ship, I guess you could say. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was a really big game changer when that um, actually happened that uh, we saw that our money was preserved. Like we, we, if we were pulled out of the market in um, ahead of time. Um, and even though we questioned it, we were grateful because it, it really did save us a lot of money. Nice. So since then, that, that, that was you know several years ago. Since then, we've also had some more recent corrections, the, the most recent one being, uh, and, the, and the biggest, most impactful one being the COVID correction from like February, March of 2020, last year. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience during, during that time. That might be a little bit more fresh uh, in your memories. Well, that was a really scary time, you know, because you did just see things going uh, kind of paywall. So it was just comforting to know that you could let the software do its thing. Um, trust, kind of trust the science, trust the math. You just trust the math and, uh, and yeah, that, and, and it was, it worked out good. After, after the COVID, if you want to call it that, there's been a lot less looking at the portfolio, just letting it do what it's do, does. Um, mm. There's a little bit, there's a little bit, there's a lot more trust in the software because it actually has shown it does what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of a, you know, we were told back and set it and forget it, you know, and what we do is also take a look at it on a quarterly basis to see if we want to be invested in that particular portfolio or if we want to change that portfolio up into something different or get into something that we may, you know, because you, you have full control. You have full control. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to participate in a certain brand or a certain stock, mm -hmm. a certain equity, you can take that out and you can buy something that you do like or you do have good feelings about and you still have the protection of the algorithms to be able to protect your money if anything were to happen. And I really like that it's not a major production to have that happen. Like you, you can literally just change it. And that is, that's so comforting to know. I don't have to make 500 phone calls or, or 10 phone calls, over exaggerate, but you don't have to make a bunch of phone calls to like get something to get done. Most of it you can, you can actually um, do yourself or, you know, shoot a quick email, whatever. Yeah, you, you can just, log on, you can log on and do it yourself and, and you can change your old portfolio. You can switch to custom portfolios. You can build your own. I mean, it's it, it just has a combination of different things that you can do where you are actually empowered to control your own money and you're not paying somebody else to do it. Mm -hmm. And then there's nobody else to blame except for you and the software, but the software has already proven itself. So, uh, you know, that's, I do like the fact that you, you actually have control of your money if you decide that you just don't want to participate at all, you can just close out your, your portfolio and you can just wait it out. And if, if you don't feel comfortable, there's, a, there's a, it's endless. It's endless. You are in control of your money mm -hmm. and you will be able to, uh, <laughs> we have learned that we have been able to protect our wealth and to grow our wealth. And it has our portfolio, this nice big, uh, you know, bull run that we've had here. It's been great. It's been great. And every time it triggers out, you're just kind of like, okay, something might happen, you know, and it might be something small, might get you back in. But it's all based on what, you know, it's leveling the playing field again. The big market makers, hedge funds and stuff like that. I, I really enjoyed that fact right there. Yeah, it, I, it's kind of fun for me if something actually sells out because I'm like, oh, something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's just like, you know, it's just an it's just a nice um, little added feature. Well, I, I think that's a great segue into my next question, because currently at the time that we're having this conversation, which is, you know, September 2021, uh, the 
the algorithm, the AI has been out of at least the S&P 500 for a few months now, several months. Um, and so how are you relating to that? That's because that's got some people wondering, well, uh, you know, we got out of it, but then it went, it's been creeping up higher. Are we missing out? Is there, there's some FOMO uh, as longer term customers of the uh, and users of this software? How, how are you relating to what it's doing right now with the S&P being uh, or, or the AI being out of the S&P? Right now, I'm good. I'm good. Made a lot of money on SPY and it's kicked us out. Okay, we've been out for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about being out. It's just telling me, it's signaling me personally, just me personally, to, to use my personal account and trade. There, you know, there's other opportunities out there. And uh, my portfolio, I mean, SPY is out of control right now. I mean, I don't know how much higher it can go. I really don't. Who knows? We are, none of us know. But knowing that we're at that peak, we're getting to that peak and understanding how the software works. I mean, it's just, it's, it's past the averages that it should be. And, you know, it might hold up for weeks, months, years. I don't know. But right now we're protected and I'm not worried about that, that small little gap of, you know, getting out at uh, 435 and it being at 450. Not worried about that small little gap right now because we've already been in for since the whole two, time, 2015. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, when it was beta testing, <laughs> when it was in beta testing. So it's yeah. I'm that small little margin right there. I'm, I'm happy to be out at 432 and not being in at 450 when it could when the floor could come out at any time and you can also use like i said your your personal account and you can trade if you want to that are not protected by algorithms and i like that fact too uh, well we were in with uh the s p about 30 percent so when that came out it was it was kind of a shocker but like i said i've trusted i've trusted the software so i I, there must be a reason, and um, I don't follow it every single day. I don't. I don't. I have no idea what it's at right now. I have no idea what it, what what he does. Yeah. <laughs> but I have no idea what it sold out. You know, like where it um, took us out at. Um, I'm quite comfortable with the gains that my, the software is in because I've um, gone into other things. So yeah, I'm. I don't really miss S and P. I'm I'm okay with. It. That is a nice thing. <laughs> goes out, you have a watch list, and you can go into other things. And it can, it, and if the algorithm trip uh, in, it triggers you in. You know, so it's not just necessarily uh, the S and P. You know, it's just you know individual stocks themselves inside the watch list that, that you can create. So uh, <clears throat> if those if those uh, particular stocks have opportunity. It would be better to have your money into an equity that actually has an opportunity, or or you could just stay in one that's hyperinflated right now and 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 go down with the ship. So that's kind of how I feel about that. I have to give a big disclaimer here. We're here at iFlug. We do not give financial advice. We do not do that. Yet I do want to I do want to hear from you as you know longer term you were in, you you were beta testers from starting from years ago as longer term um, veteran users of the software if you will uh, what would you say to somebody who is new or who is kind of on the fence and they're just feeling that anxiety they're like oh I don't like that the I ate the uh, the iFlip AI is out of the market while it's making all time highs like almost every other week. Uh, what would you say to someone who's feeling anxious like that? FOMO is a really, really bad thing. If you, you, anybody that does any type of trading, you have to have a mental, you have to have a mental state. You have to understand it. Um, that's where having AI software uh, running it for you, uh, something that knows the moving averages, something that knows what the market can or cannot do that can detect the algorithms can detect the algorithms that hedge funds are using. Okay, all these things play a role, and you know 
without getting too political in this either, without financial advice and political, we know that there's kind of a little bit of prop up in the stock market right now. So I know we're making all time highs, but how long does that last? When does it come? When does it end? It doesn't go up forever. So it, it's to me, to, to the people out there that are, are questioning the AI software part of it, just understand that uh, algorithms are used, are algorithms that have been used, have been created before. They are now just in a digital form for the average investor. So these are nothing new. These are things that uh, hedge funds have used and, and they're still using to this day. It's just now available for the retail investor and that will protect your portfolio because you will be on the same field as the hedge funds, the people that are managing money, the, where the money is coming from, where the money's going, that's, you will be on that same field with them. You're not gonna be down the street. You're going to be right there with them. And that, that, that is the importance of having algorithms and using them in a software like iFlip mm -hmm. is you are now on their field and they may not like it. <laughs> See, I, I have a different flip side to that flip side um, is that I don't have the fear of missing out I have the fear of losing what I have because I've done that before. In 2008, I lost over 50%. No one even called me on the phone to go, hey, things aren't looking so good or we're gonna sell you out of things. So that's, that's it doesn't bother me to, to like not be making huge gains. I don't wanna lose what, what I have or want to lose as less as possible. And that's what I've gotten um, the security from iFlip is that I've always known that that's what that's the way it was going to be. It's it's overall been a really great experience meeting um, Kelly and Randy and you know the gang. It, it's 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 just been really good. I think we have friends for life, and I'm really I'm just really happy to be a part of it. Well, we love that you are been you've been part of the iFlip family almost since the very beginning, right? Pretty much since the very beginning, and we love having you here. Uh, that's what you get, folks, uh, when you when you sign up for the software. You're not just buying into a product like a Netflix subscription or some kind of subscription. Uh, you're you're joining a community. So we, um, if you haven't already done so and you are an active user, we do encourage you to actively participate in these AI circles and join the community. Uh, engage with us on, on Facebook and uh, get to know some of the more veteran users. Uh, but with that, thank you, John and Terry, so much for joining us today. Uh, we, we look forward to more of these conversations. Thank you. And to, to everybody at home, trade safe, trade well, and we'll see you next time.